In this video, we're going to take a look at solving quadratic inequalities by using graphs. Now, you could do this graphing by hand, but uh, if you have technology available, I would strongly recommend it. And one piece of technology that you could make use of that I really love, and that's going to be used in this particular video for all the graphs that you'll see, is Desmos.com. Desmos.com has a great online graphing calculator. Works great on your computer. Works great on an iPad. All sorts of devices like that. A uh, great website. Free and fantastic. So that's what you're going to see in this graph. And I thank them for that great, great website and product. All right. So how do we solve quadratic inequalities using graphs? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to graph two equations. The two equations are going to be, first of all, the left side of our inequality. So my first equation I'm going to graph is going to be y equals x squared plus 3x minus 14. And the second equation I'm going to graph is going to be the right side of the inequality. So in this case, y equals 14. Okay, so I graph those two things. Then, in order to solve the inequality, I'm going to look to see how those two things interact. So, the graph for this one right here looks something like this. Okay, there's the graph, that parabola. Then, if I graph y equals 14 on this same thing, it's going to look like this. All right, now. These two points right here are what we're really going to be interested in because that's going to determine how our parabola is kind of cut into three pieces here. If you notice, we have a piece of the parabola that's here above that line. Then we've got a piece that's below the line right here. And then we've got another piece that's above the line. Okay. Now, let's look at this another way here and look at what those points actually are. So, here we are, same graph again. I just threw some shading down the middle here so that we can see those three pieces. You've got the part of the parabola out here, the part out here, and then the piece that is down here. Now, let's take a look at our inequality. We've got x squared plus 3x minus 14 is less than or equal to 14. All right, so here's the 14 right here, and we want to know when this part, which is the parabola, is less than 14, okay? So thinking in terms of the graph, well, the stuff that's less than is lower on the graph. So right here, this part of the graph is less than that 14, because this line's coming through right here at 14. So, I need this part is going to be my solution. So let's go ahead and write that using an inequality. So, my solution is going to be right here is the left hand side and the x value there is negative 7. So it's going to be negative 7. And then this is my right hand side at 4, like so. Then these are x's, okay, because we're We've got our x for our variable. And then one way, sometimes I see students flip the inequalities here and get those a little mixed up. One way to think about this is if we have negative 7, how does that compare to 4? Make sure that's a true inequality. And that would be this. It's less than. Use that same symbol here. And then since this has the equal to, we're going to include the equal to here as well. Now, what this says is that all the values of x between negative 7 and 4 are going to make this inequality true. Now let's just try that, just to be sure. So 0 is a nice and easy one to work with. So if we put in 0 for x right here, we'd get 0 squared plus 3 times 0. That's also 0, so that's all gone. And we have negative 14. Let me just switch colors here again so we can keep this sort of separate. We have negative 14 is less than or equal to 14. Is that true? Sure enough, yeah, it is. Okay, negative 14 is less than or equal to 14. So those values, and you could check other ones and find that they're also true. All right, so let's uh, take a look at a couple more examples here. And for this next one, 
we've got the inequality flipped around but that's okay doesn't matter we can go ahead and graph the two pieces here so we'll graph the left side that's going to be y equals 3 and then the right side is going to be y equals x squared minus 8x plus 15 okay so I go ahead and graph those two things and I end up with my graph that looks like this okay so here's the y equals 3 that's the blue line right there and then my parabola is right here so again I'm gonna take a look at those three pieces we've got this part up here we've got this piece right here and then we've got the part of the parabola up here again I added some shading to this so we can see kinda how that breaks down so here it is with the shading included okay again notice the three parts of the parabola there's the part out here in the white there's the part out here in the white those two go together and then we've got this piece which is below that y equals three part okay so now we look at our inequality it says three is less than or equal to this thing well we could think of it like this and this might make it a little bit easier it's another way to think of it okay if we flip that around remember if I rewrite that we've got to make sure that it's opening to the same thing it's opening toward the X stuff so okay now let's see we've got this thing needs to be bigger than or equal to greater than or equal to 3 so where on my graph am I seeing that happen well right here that would be this part is greater than the blue line and this parts greater than the blue line again remembering higher on the graph is greater than okay so let's see well what do we have this piece is gonna go off in this direction for our x values so that x value that we're interested in that smallest well the edge piece there is going to be and I'm gonna switch colors again so we can see our solution here we've got X is less than or equal to because we've got the, le the equal to in this part 2 and then we've got this piece over here ooh well how do we tie these together well this is gonna be an or situation because we've got those two separate pieces and in the other side we've got x being greater than or equal to 6 alright like so so x is less than or equal to 2 or x is greater than 6 you want to double check you can always grab some values for x that are out here these white parts should have all x values that work again we could test 0 if we put in 0 it would be 0 0 3 is less than or equal to 15 yeah that's true so that part works we could also test out here and we should find that that works too alright then let's take a look at that last example right down there a little bit more complicated looking inequality but it's gonna work the same way we'll start by graphing so we go ahead and graph okay here's my basic inequality first of all this one right here is the y equals 2 that's the right hand side and then my red one is this one right here okay and we're interested in how they interact so again I can shade in that part to help us focus in more uh, the shading is not an essential piece of it I just did that to show you the different parts of the parabola to hopefully make that more clear so again I do that these points right here are what we're really interested in because that breaks our parabola into three pieces so I do that and then I'm gonna look at my inequality to see what I want here I want the parabola that's this part to be less than two okay well twos here what part of the parabola is lower than that two hey this part right here so that's gonna be with my x values being between negative 0.5 or negative 1 half and 4 so to write that I just go ahead and it's gonna be similar to that first one we can do negative 0.5 or negative 1 half 
and then the other side we've got four put our X in the middle now I remember how those compare got less than and in this case we don't want the equal to because we didn't have it there again you could check to see that those work you could put in zero again that's a handy one to work with zero would make those two things go away we have negative two being less than two which of course is true alright so solving quadratic inequalities using graphs technology makes this pretty straightforward we start by graphing each side of our inequality as two separate equations and then what we're going to do is look at how they interact and we're looking for these points where they cross then we look at the inequality determine what we want and typically I would look at the parabola part that makes it a little bit easier and say okay if it's greater than I want that parabola the parabola pieces that are above the line if it's less than I want the parabola part that's below the line again remember these graphs were all created using desmos.com and again I thank them for such a wonderful awesome tool if you haven't used it before do give it a try because it is some um, fantastic graphing as you can see from the graphs featured in this video. Thanks for watching. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.